how's it going everybody? Ruben Knights here. My name is Ruben and welcome back to Darkwood. Now in the last episode we were able to survive basically our third night. As you can see, day breaks here. So we have another day to go out and try and find more things that we need in order to survive. I need to try and finish off barricading this place and repairing this place so that we've got a stable and secure safe environment. We were also able to meet these three little guys that basically trade with us. So we get to carry on and have a look what else is out there because we need to board up this window, we need to fix up this passage over here and we need to try and see what else we can do to make this a little bit easier. So I think what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm actually going to move up this way a little bit. Go this way for once because I know there are some dogs to basically the northeast from here but obviously I don't want to get too involved with those boys. And then we've got this maze over here that I've got no idea where it actually ends up going. But we're just going to maybe now go a little bit more north and just see what is up here. Because I'm seeing some kind of like cart over here. And of course we've got some of this, some nails, some wood and another stone. We did get some more fuel f when we traded with those guys. We got quite a bit more fuel. What was that? What the hell is that sound? What the fuck is out here? So we're finding everything we need in order to obviously upgrade our base further. But I'm hearing so many weird sounds in this forest. I don't know if the only danger I have lurks at night or if there's something out here during the day as well. But we found a crashed car. We found something over here. Could have sworn I actually saw something there. We got a crashed car. How can there be nothing at this car? But I want to investigate this just a little bit more. I want to see what this is. Looks like it's another house. Some oozing sounds coming from the corner over there. Now, I was actually point it was actually pointed out to me in the last episode that I fucked up a little bit. I ended up throwing away some pills that I originally got right in the beginning of the game. We've got some more gas. Awesome. I ended up throwing away some pills that I got right in the beginning of the game, the very first episode when we started everything off. And pro tip given to me by the person who actually originally um, told me about this game said whenever you find pills, don't throw it away. Under any circumstances, don't get rid of it. I want to see if there's any other way I can go. My inventory is relatively full, so I think I maybe want to make a beeline back towards the base. So we can go fix up everything we need over there. Because I do think I was up somewhere this direction. Find some wood over there. So let's just make our way down and have a look what's exactly out here. Obviously we'll go down, we'll go back a different way so that we can see if there's anything that we are missing out on. And I'm getting stuck on trees and shit. I knew it. I knew I'm going to have to keep... Ah, that's the campsite. I don't want to go anywhere close to that campsite. But there's a disabled tractor. And there's nothing in this tractor for me. Just stick to the edges, don't go anywhere close to them, just stay far away. There we go. And we've got this like track over here, so I know I'm close to my base. Well, that doesn't sound like it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now we're going to use the um, fuel that we found at the old generator, and we're actually going to end up filling up the, the saw. Because we need to obviously cut some wood so that we can fix up these windows and fix up the corridors so that one is empty we've got quite a bit of wood we can dump all the wood we found now inside there as well and we can actually end up no man come on there we go not enough fuel to do that damn so you need quite a bit of fuel to get through all of that now this fuel however i am not going to be using on you that fuel i am going to be using for the generator but we'll get back to the generator now first things first i want to fix this doorway 
There we go. So now it's almost like we've got a second line of defense because we've got another door over here now protecting us, which is always a good thing. Let's board up this window. Okay, so that window's boarded up. This window is already boarded up. And I don't think there's any other windows that we need to worry about. But I do need to try and find a way. I still don't have any skill points. I do need to try and find a way to create lights, basically. Because right now, I've only got the two lights in this main room. And that's obviously the room that I spend the nights in. And I can only imagine that night after night, things are going to start getting a little harder. So we've got a chain trap, we've got plank with nails, a crude weapon, don't expect it to last very long. You know, it's better than nothing. And we've got a bear trap for bears and other things. Hmm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to end up dumping all the stuff I do have, except that. We've got a flare. A flare might be a good thing to just keep on us, and then I want to take that fuel and go fill up the generator. Okay, I can't go that way. The reason why I'm going this way is because I know the map says at one point you can actually go into the dry meadow area. But obviously I've got no idea what to expect down there. And obviously as I'm moving I'm trying to keep an eye out for shit I can use, shit I can find. And it looks like this trail just goes all the way down. So this is actually an old road. So we'll follow the road and see where this goes. Obviously we want to keep an eye out for night time. Because we don't want to be stuck out here when that shit comes along. I do, however, feel that it's going to be a situation of we're going to have to make more than one base. Burnt house. Oh, please tell me there's food in here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I can't get into any more fights because I have got nothing else to fight with. So keep an eye out on everything. We've got the wardrobe over here. We've got some matchsticks. That's good. Doesn't actually seem to be anything out on this side. Red swing. No, 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 no. I do not want to get into a fight with a dog right now. I'm good. Thank you very much. We'll take some logs. We'll take the nails. Okay, I think maybe crafting that crude plank would be in my best interest. Not because I'm actually going to be planning on getting into any fights, but so that if a fight comes to me... I can possibly do something about it. We've got some more wood over here that I can get to. Got some more nails. And what the hell is making that thumping sound? We'll take that as well. And of course I'm being stupid. Mentioning that I don't have any weapons and I start running right towards something that's making noise. Okay, I think that's all I need. I'm gonna double back. Obviously just follow the path all the way back to my base. That way, hopefully, ooh, did I get this? No, I didn't. Cool. So we're getting quite a bit of wood, quite a bit of nails, quite a bit of everything. So things are looking up, but I still guess that the first time I get attacked by something, I'm fucked. And now I officially run out of sprint. Oh, never mind. It's when I sprint on the road that I can sprint a lot longer. That makes sense, and that's actually a smart concept. But once again, I've got no more fuel. Um, let's have a look. Let's open up my crafting system. These are basic things that I can craft. And I don't need to craft any of that right now. What I am going to do, however, is open up the table saw and just dump all the wood inside there. Okay, that way when I do get more fuel, I can obviously come and weld it up. I do see a door over here. Locked. I need a key. Um, use key. I had a key. Who the hu I did not know I had a fucking key. So I've got a shotgun shell. I have got scrap metal. I've got more gasoline and a full body canister. I've got 9 volt battery, a wire, and exploding barrel. What? I did not know I had a key on me. How the hell was I supposed to know that? Is it not? Because in my inventory it didn't say I had anything. Still got this dead woman here and this 
generator of mine. Close off that. Can I actually do anything with these mushrooms? Oh, I can. I can harvest them. Odd mushroom added. Cookable rots over time. Okay, so that's food. It's a good thing, I guess. And what's this? That's nothing. What's this? That's nothing. And we've got some more. Did I just completely go blank and miss out everything that was right here by my base? Of course I did. I mean, why wouldn't I just miss out everything? We've got some more mushrooms here in the corner. Obviously, that's food, and food means survival. So close that off. We're going to run around this way. We've got enough fuel to at least last us for one night, even if it was maybe a bit premature, switching these lights on. But you know what? I'd rather turn them on a little bit early than be in a situation where I can't turn them on because I'm fucked. So we'll close off that door. We're able to fix that corridor so we can close that door. We've been able to board up that window. While I'm here, I want to make that crude weapon. There it is there. There we go. That crude weapon can go into slot 2. That way if something does get in here, I've got somewhat of a chance. And then I also want to make one lockpick. Now that I've got the lockpick, we can dump everything else that we don't need right now into there. And yep, it is actually starting to become night time. So we'll close that off. We'll swing around this way. We'll go into the bedroom. And close that door. Okay, now we've got a weapon. And now we need to survive the night. All the doors have been fixed. All the windows have been barricaded. We were able to find some mushrooms. Now, while this is possibly busy, I'm possibly going to do something very stupid. But I want to go to the oven and I want to end up doing that. I don't know what that did. Have I got something on me? Does, do I have to wait for some? I've got no fucking idea. I guess it'll be explained over time. Okay, so the rest of my house, obviously, as always, is freaking pitch black. Can't see a damn fucking thing. So now it's simply a case of we need to survive the night yet again until morning. Now, I do believe if we've set up everything properly, we've fixed all the doors, we've done all the windows, we found um, quite some more wooden nails and a couple more stones. We were able to find a battery, shotgun shell, 9-volt battery. So the 9 volt battery, is that possibly something I can use in the flashlight that I got? Because I know I had a flashlight. And that flashlight obviously might be a lot more efficient than the torch that I've been using in the past. Hmm, that is something we're obviously going to have to have a look at. But then once again, how fast is that battery going to drain? I think my only problem with survival games like this has been the longevity of the items that you get. And of course, I'm seeing... Oh, for fuck's sakes. What the fuck? That was not supposed to happen, obviously. Um, damn it. Okay, I was actually just trying to have a better look out the window and then I forgot the bed shop was on the floor because I wasn't paying attention and... Fuck. Okay, so I had my line of defense over there, but now, of course, no. Come through this door and I will beat you. Because it literally sounds like there is something inside my house. And we'll leave it. We'll leave it. But yeah, I need to seriously find another way or another alternate source of light. Because right now, I mean, just these two, just these two lights and the generator is using up fuel at a alarming rate. I mean, that thing was above three bars, one night it was under two bars. So it's basically a case of I need to fill up that generator every single night. It means every single day I need to find gasoline. And that's impossible because I can only imagine this map is only so big and I'm not sure if resources respawn over time. If maybe it takes a couple of days and they will be there again. I don't know this kind of information, but if it doesn't, if those resources don't end up basically respawning or spawning somewhere else or being in random locations, regardless, it means that we're only going to have a finite amount of resources in regards to gasoline. And once it runs out, what then? Am I supposed to just make my like general customers last stand and just 
try and survive as these things come pouring into my house. That doesn't make sense in any way. So I need th there has to be another way that I could possibly have a source of energy or a light source, may possibly use fire instead of electricity. I mean, all of this is possible, but I don't know if the game allows it, obviously. I don't know what its crafting system is like, and I don't know what warrants a skill point because i mean we've survived four nights now we've done quite a bit as you guys can see we're in a relatively stable situation but i don't even have one skill point i mean i haven't even seen a skill tree now i don't know if that is simply a case of it is not implemented oh my gosh when did you get you old night mushrooms okay well that was probably not a good thing to have in the middle of my room but I don't know if a skill based system or a tree skill is implemented in the game yet or if the developers are still trying to obviously sort that out. That's beyond me. But I hope it is and I hope that there allows that it allows possibly for me to find another way of using up energy because right now I don't know what I'm doing. And it's daytime. So I'm gonna start going out. Close this off. There we go. Day four, survive. You gain reputation with the three men when surviving nights. Okay, so we've got these three blokes again. You gain reputation with the three when surviving nights. Thank you very much. Let's just show items. Um, trade. So once again, it's got a flashlight. It's got an axe head. We've got a shovel head. We've got a watch. A watch would be a very, very good thing to have. Because obviously it'll tell us the time of day so we can get back. We've got gas tanks. Hitting the tank will release the gas under high pressure. We've got pills. We've got handgun frame, barrel, uh, tumbler magazine, small caliber magazine. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what I should be needing or what I don't need. And that door I closed last night. That door as well. As long as that, as well as that front door. Did they maybe find a way in? And is this wall starting to crumble? It definitely looks like it. The one thing I want to do is I want to have a look. I want to see as far as I'm aware. Okay, let's take the flare. Let's dump the mushrooms. Let's dump the scrap metal. We'll take one lockpick with us. We'll take the weapon with us. We'll take a torch with us just in case. We'll take some bandages and we'll craft another set of bandages. I do believe and we'll leave the fuel behind. Okay, and an empty bottle. We're going to take leave that behind as well. Okay, I'm going to make a beeline for the underground tunnel. I think I'm about as prepared as I possibly can. I need to try and make some headway into this whole surviving story. Come on. Where's this damn door? There it is. And we're going to go down this passage. So I've got a flare and I've got a torch. Hopefully the flare and the torch is all that I need. But before we obviously do that, we need to put them in the relative slots. So we'll put the torch there, we'll put the flare there, and we'll use the flare first. There we go. We've got quite a bit of light from the flare. Never mind. This flare is not helping us. Oh, the flare dropped it on the floor. Wait, come on. Please, I'm not going to pick up that fucking flare. Oh, that is useless. That is absolutely useless. And obviously, with it being dark down... Yep, I saw that. With it being dark down here... I don't know what I can expect. I don't know how much of a fight I'm going to have to get into down here. The passages stay narrow, I've got a chance because it means I can see. If they start widening out, it means I've got a problem. And obviously I'm keeping my like <laughs> I'm keeping my torch ready so that if something does come, I'm just gonna swing. Now it actually looks like we've got lights over here. So I'm gonna put away my torch. Armor door. Okay, so it's closed. This is my only way of getting out of this forest. Okay, but I won't be able to open it without my key. Uh, look at the handle. The handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. 
No one has opened it for at least a fortnight. It looks like we were the last ones here. Among the howling of the wind, I can hear a faint voice. It seems familiar and comes from inside the keyhole. Someone is calling my name. Okay, so we found the place of how we're going to get out of this damn forest. So this is possibly end game material. Oh, we've got some mushrooms over here. Let's take those again as well. So this is possibly how we're going to finish off the game. But obviously I need a key. And I don't know where we're going to find that key. It's fine. Come. Bring your shit. I've got my flashlight out. I can't see anything. I don't know where I'm going. Portal to us. Oh, what? This wasn't blocked. Fuck. Now we've got a corpse over here. And this corpse has got nothing in it. Wait a second. How the fuck am I going to get out of here now? Oh, never mind. This way. Oh, uh, that's oozing. That does not look inviting, so I'm obviously not going down that. We've just got some more passages over here. Now, I don't know if there was another way I could go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh okay. That's actually something. I will... No. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here. That is death, that is death. Get the fuck out of this. And of course, my guys run out of sprint. Get out of here, get out of here. How do I get out of here? Come on, oh my gosh. Okay, so whatever that was, it packs a punch. That's for damn sure. Come on, okay, this is a lamp. I'm not dragging this lamp all the way back to base. There's no freaking ways I'm doing that. Now, in my inventory, I've got the fuel, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't. Ugh. So I've got to go back, quickly fetch my fuel, come back, fill up the generator, then possibly, if I've got time, shoot up to those dogs, deal with them. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. My fuel is in the workbench. And there it is there. Okay, so we've got the fuel. Obviously, I think the best course of action would be to fill that up first. Because the last thing I need is to be able to try and go out to the dogs, deal with the dogs, not have enough time to get back and still refill it. So we'll take this step by step. We'll take this gas tank. We'll move it over to number three. And we'll fill this shit up. Because there we go. I mean, literally, that one night and the generators were out. It used up all of the fuel that I had. And that was over... It was close to four slots. So there we've got three slots. The tank is empty. Oh my gosh, this thing drinks gasoline at an alarming rate. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to whip out number one. I'm going to whip out my plank. And I'm going to go up here towards this campsite. Just hope I've got enough time, obviously, to get to the campsite and still get back. If shit does end up going wrong. Wait a second. Wolfman, okay. I can smell your stench from afar. Be glad I do not have an appetite for carcasses. For carcass meat. The figure hides his face under a hood. It stinks of wet ground and fur. I know what you're after. Meat. I can help you with getting back the thing you lost. If you help me, what do you say, comrade? He leans towards me. I hear a quiet giggle from under the hood. I knew this would interest you. Before we make a deal, you will need to prove to me you are capable of doing your assignment. I don't want to waste my time on weaklings. You understand me, yes? Your first job will be to get from the dry meadow to the silent forest. You think that's going to be easy? I would take a few days to get ready if I were you. 
When you get there, you will find me here. Remember this place. Wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Uh, small plastic chicken. What the fuck is this? I don't fucking know. You tell me. Taking a stroll through the woods after dusk means certain death, meat. Stay in your heart out after dusk and pray for the morning light. Okay, so I can trade with him as well. His value... He doesn't take scrap metal, however. Mmm. How much is a stone worth? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Okay, but at least I know where to find this guy if I need... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, for a moment I thought it's going to start becoming nighttime. So anything I can use. How did I not notice this guy here? I was just looking for the campsite where the doggies were. And now it started raining. Oh, uh, this is the campsite with the doggies. Location found. Camp. But it looks like things are starting to get darker. No, not yet. I mean, this is still relatively bright. I, need, I can take these dogs one at a time. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And it looks like it's getting to night time relatively soon. Am I fucking up? I suppose I don't have much of a choice other than to turn this journey on right now because I can't see a fucking thing. I can't tell if I'm close to night time or if I'm not with the rain. It is a little difficult, and I'm dying. I'm going to test a theory, and I'm probably going to die for testing this theory. Let's go, doggy. Come, take me on. Come. Come on, yeah, keep running. I want to make my way back up to this camp now that there's only like two doggies here. Let's go. Come. Come, come. That's one dead. Okay, keep running. That way I can search this backpack. Some gasoline, that's good. Search the other backpack, that's a bottle. Got some clothes over here, some old rags, that's a good thing. Let's go, doggy. Come. I know that's probably the meanest thing I've ever done in a video game, but I couldn't fuck around with that for too much longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't survive the night in my boat with everything blocked up, everything closed. And see if it's not maybe a situation of purely having this boarded up and having my torch being enough for me. I don't know. But I am going to have to go back. I'm going to go back to my workbench. Because I need to get my bandage. Because I'm busy dying. Do I really need that generator to be on? And that's the part I need to try and figure out tonight. So this is probably where I die. But what I do want to do in the meantime as well is just make another weapon. Because this thing at the moment. Um, repair item. That one. Okay, so it's been repaired. Lovely. So I don't need to make a new one. So we'll make sure everything is closed off. I can't cook this. I thought doggy meat I'd be able to cook. But no, but it looks like it's only the mushrooms. Clo oh, oh, man. Close this off. Go inside. And when it goes fully dark in here, we'll turn on that damn torch and see if that is enough. Open this door 
and I beat you. I literally heard two of my doors open. Now, I don't know if it's a good thing to maybe at night. You know what? Let's do it. Barricade it. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't have the requirement because everything is in my... <coughs> everything's in the workbench. I don't know if it's a good thing at night to obviously be barricading the door. I don't know if that's something I should be doing. But I heard my other two doors open and I don't know how well these monsters open and close doors. Ah. <coughs> what are you... What the fuck was that? Yeah, I'm busy sitting, focusing, staring at the door, and I forget about the pitch blackness behind me. What the fuck was that? What did I pick up? Something. It's, it's just question mark. That's it. Oh, fuck. Yo, oh my gosh. Anything over here I need to worry about? No, well, that's still fine. I think the sun's coming up. I could be wrong. There's definitely something in my house. <laughs> I want my generator on. Uh, next torch. That was freaking terrifying. That thing, I don't even know how long that thing was standing in that corner. All I'm literally doing now is I'm focusing on this door. That whatever it is must open this. Ah! Oh. Did I actually kill it? Yes, I actually killed it. Oh, close the door. Close the door. Oh my gosh, that was fucking terrifying. No. Fuck off. Fuck off. Go away. Come at me. Open the door. It's fine. I'm waiting for you. The sun's coming up. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> oh, day five survived and they've busted on my fucking door. But I killed something. I definitely killed something. Let's switch this over. Oh, where did it go? I definitely, definitely killed something. Okay. I don't need the wood right now, so I'm not going to fill that up with gasoline. I'm going to pump all the gasoline I just got whew, into this Jenny. Just fill this damn thing up because last night was terrifying. Yes, I survived, but I mean, literally, those guys started attacking as the sun was coming up. If they had started attacking any sooner, I would have definitely been fucked. Okay, so we've definitely... Hopefully, we've got enough fuel in this generator for at least two nights. Because that has filled up that, and if we go over to the next one, we can dump all of that in there as well. And we might actually have some left. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. If we do, it's going to be barely anything. Nope, the tank is empty. But our generator is full. Well, 99.9% .9 full. But that is as good a place as any to bring an end to this episode. Things are moving forward. We are surviving. We are making progress. I nearly died the previous night. So it's not a feasible option to obviously try and spend out the entire night just using torches. Because they do attack. It's not enough light. And then it should also be a very good idea that when I'm spending the night in here... To barricade this door. I might waste materials doing that. But at least I know they won't be able to open those, open up this. Because they got through the previous three doors relatively easily the previous night. Something was sitting in the corner. Something was breaking down my door. I had a face flash up on my screen. I killed a couple of dogs. I went down into a cave. And got attacked by hell knows what. And I met a man that looks like a wolf. So... <laughs> Not a, I'm still confused. I've still got no idea what the fuck's going on here. But progress. Progress is being made. And as long as I can say I'm making progress and I'm moving forward and I'm surviving night by night, I will eventually, hopefully, figure out what the hell's going on here. Bring this story to an end. I mean, I already know where to go to escape the forest. And that's simply just down into those caves, that underground passage. We found the door. But I need a key to get out of that door. 
so there's going to be quite a bit of searching there's going to be quite a bit of exploration i doubt this is going to be my only base because of the size of the map i doubt you'll be able to run to the other side of the map and back so it's simply a case of i'm going to have a couple of bases that i'm going to have to jump between obviously moving throughout this entire map that's why i need to um that's why i met the wolfman that's why i need to um meet the wolfman again these are a couple of things that we have found so that underground entrance that's where we escape it's just a case of not finding that fucking key but i can at least say we are making progress i really do hope you guys enjoyed that episode if you did leave a like and subscribe and i will see all you beautiful people in my next video but obviously until then just <laughs>